certainly an offensive day, and you know we felt like it was going to be that way when you come in this ballpark and you got the wind blowing out. And, you know, we started out the first inning swinging the bats extremely well and picked up three, left two on in that inning. Um, had opportunity the next inning, left Michael at third base with less than two outs, two more in the third. Uh, you know, we knew that those tack on runs were going to be important for us. Uh, unfortunately, we just we didn't do a good enough job picking up those runs during the course of the game. And, you know, they did a great job uh, making an adjustment on Matt there in the fifth. You know, it started, it looked to be, you know, it started looking off speed and trying to handle the off speed pitches and change up slider. And, you know, they didn't put great swings on it there in the fifth, but they did enough to, to put some runners on. And, you know, he lost some rhythm and had a couple walks mixed in there with it, kind of opened the door for him. And, uh, you know, I got to give Towson credit. They, they did a great job with their approach from the fifth inning on and, you know, continued to put pressure on us. We didn't, uh, we didn't make plays on two bunts. That, uh, you know, the second one was uh, certainly a play where we've got to get an out out of it. Set up, bases loaded, nobody out. and then. You know, Fisher put a great swing on Jack for a grand slam, and you know we just couldn't slow it down from a pitching standpoint, unfortunately. Mark, how do you explain the, the leaving all the guys in, not only on base but in scoring position? Uh, I just think you know our concentration as we got to that point, several at bats. You know, I didn't think. You know, I thought we got away from uh, an aggressive approach. We had some guys take pitches that were very, very hittable early in the camp, and that's when you've got to attack. You know, you can't give, a, you know, can't give pitchers an opportunity to, to pitch with two strikes all the time with guys in scoring position. And, you know, we did, we did that several times when we had some balls early in the camp that we needed to go ahead and attempt to square up. We either swung and missed or fouled it off, and we took it. And uh, in all honesty, we took it too often. What does this part, I know Matt's had a couple of tough outings here, what does this part do to the pitchers? Uh, you know, I think it just, you know, it makes you a little more tentative at times uh, when you see balls starting to fly around. But I think, you know, I, I felt like Matt threw the baseball well early, threw four innings. Um, then when he got to the fifth, you know, he had a long inning there. Um, then we had a long inning to answer and maybe that sit was was too much after the long inning he had uh, and he went back out and couldn't find his rhythm and unfortunately walked the first two guys but we felt like we needed to make a change at that point because he was he was close to 90 pitches and really didn't have a good feel for for what he was trying to get done he was underneath the baseball a lot out early down a hill early and you know, when he gets in that mode, it's, it's tough for him to get out of, it, especially as he gets deep in the game when he's a little bit tired. Do you, not, do you not remind the guys that they've been in this position before? Yeah, I mean, we talk about it. You know, the biggest thing for me is to play 27 outs on both sides of the ball with great focus. And I felt like we got, you know, we probably played about 20 to 27 outs with great focus on the offensive side today. And, those seven that uh, we checked out on, you know, cost us because we had we had players in scoring position. We had people sitting there waiting to be driven in, and you know, on an offensive day, you better tackle on every opportunity you can. And we unfortunately we didn't. They seemed to, you know, they left seven, we left 15. Uh, so, you know, it's it's a situation where tomorrow we've got to come right back. You know, I think we can come back through this as long as our guys will play 27 on both sides of the ball with, with the best focus they've had in the last month. Uh, unfortunately, we've we've had some laws, and those laws have cost us over the last three weeks.